In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to do this super sick chain glow effect in After Effects. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get the chain shot that you want, and then you're going to duplicate the layer. After duplicating the layer, you're going to want to rotoscope the chain by double clicking and then getting the roto brush tool. Once you do your first roto brush look through, just check to make sure nothing's out of place. If it is just correct it as like like you can see here and once you're done just click freeze once that's done you should just double check but if you de-click the bottom layer you'll see that the chain is selected so what we're gonna do now is add a glow you can add any glow that you want there's a default glow and after effects that works just fine but I'm going to use sapphire glow for this I'm going to increase the brightness and then slightly lower threshold I'm also going to increase the glow width. The next thing I'm also going to do is add Sapphire Flicker. You can also create the same effect by just simply adjusting exposure up and down and keyframing it, but I'm just doing Flicker to save time. I'm going to lower the amplitude and then I'm going to add Sapphire Glint. Now you don't need Sapphire Glint, but I definitely think it sells the preset more. All I do for this with the Glint is I click load preset and then it'll get the preset browser for sapphire glint i'm going to choose realistic glint 5 and i'm going to turn down the brightness a slight bit and then i'm going to increase the threshold a slight bit and as you can see you have a super sick chain glow effect thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe for more as i'm going to be uploading all this month bye